Hello there, morons. It's Victor, King of the Morons, for another J News. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. I've actually been working in the back of my head on a video uh, about suicide because, as you probably have read, or maybe maybe not, I don't know what you've read. I don't know what you're reading. Could be looking at pornography or playing video games for all I know. But anyway, for the first time in 15 years, Japan's suicide rate has dropped below 30,000, which is great news. Yay, Japan! Congrats on not killing yourselves as much as before. And I think it was down 1,680. I don't remember the numbers. That, they're not that significant, but they are in the description in an article. However, the um, suicide rate for uh, kids in their 20s, I would I'll say kids, you guys are kids in, the, in your 20s, has well, went up a little bit. It's like, I think 128 people died or something, could kill themselves, not died, kill themselves. Which is actually, if you think about it, it's kind of a, you know, philosophically interesting. It's comparable to the number of people who die in America every year, gun-related uh, deaths, right? So, you know, mathematically in the end, philosophically speaking, I mean, which is worse? Other people kill you, you don't know about it, or you kill yourself, I guess. You know, you want to think, okay, I'd rather, I think it's better to kill myself so Japan is safer than in America because, you know, at least not some random nut's going to come by and drive by and shoot you or a, a robbery or something. So that sucks. That would suck to die that way, but it also would suck if you were just really depressed and you didn't know how to get help and you just had to kill yourself because you live in Japan and they don't have so much mental health, uh, you know, uh, support here, etc., etc. And at the same time, I was thinking about this new video called Saving 10,000, Winning a War on Suicide in Japan. I have not actually watched all of it. I've been meaning to. And I was going to do this video after that. But something happened today that made me think, I should talk about this today because it's kind of timely. And I will get to the video. Yeah, if you guys are interested in the subject, get to that. And I will do a follow-up video about that movie later. Um, definitely any video that uh, tries to save people's lives is worth talking about later, especially since it has to do with Japan, and that's what we do here on this channel. Now, the other reason, the thing, the, the, the serendipity, the thing that brought me to this uh, video today was the guy named Koizumi, uh, not the famous politician Koizumi, but another Koizumi, went kind of nuts the other day. He went to a hospital. He's been going to the hospital like three or four times in a week or something, getting a check. I don't know, I don't know, getting his toenails. I don't know, who knows what, what for he was, he was going for. And he was annoyed at the fact that they didn't call him by his name, which is Koizumi, they called him by number, which I think was 241 or 214. But he was annoyed that they didn't call him by his name. He said, like, I've got a name. You know, stop calling me by, by my number. This is not, I'm not a prisoner. And he wrote this rant on his blog, 241. And he was really annoyed. And I'll, I'll leave you links to the bottom, to an English article, Japanese article, and a Japanese video. Uh, the Japanese video, video is very well illustrated, so you'll probably be able to get something out of that, those of you who are studying Japanese. But um, he, he wrote this blog. He was trying to rile up all the netizens. Don't you, I like that word, netizens, so the citizens of the internet. And trying to get their support by saying, don't you think I'm right? And they should treat us better. Even in a, de in a department store, when you pay this much money, you know, I'm a great customer, I should get treated better. And they basically laughed at him. And he was found dead today. And the police suspect suicide. Now, it's never... It's never um, I'm not going to look good by, by I'm, I'm not going to look good by admitting this, but I would be dishonest by saying otherwise because that's this is basically how I feel, and I know it's not politically correct, but you know I, I you never want to uh, applaud someone's death, and you definitely don't want to feel happy, but but I I I, I don't feel uh, I don't feel bad that this guy killed himself. I think um, not not that I'm happy I'm not happy, you know, but I, it's hard to feel pity for someone who kills himself over something as ridiculous as this. Now, of course, I'm sure that is not the thing that the, the this is not why he killed himself. Well, I'm, I don't know for sure, but of course, I, I imagine there was probably much more to this story than, than meets the eye, right? He's probably had a lot of other problems um, in his life, many money problems, uh, mar marital problems, maybe no love in his life, who knows? But for whatever reason, this was the trigger, apparently, and of course, it's still speculation. The police think he killed himself. It could have been something else. It could have been just coincidental that he killed himself the day after he wrote an incredibly embarrassing blog on the net and was laughed, uh, laughed literally out of this world, uh, so to speak. And it's mostly Nichan people. The Nichan is the, uh, you know, the, um, the anonymous of Japan. So they basically made a lot of fun of him and he ended up killing himself, which as you know, if, if you know anything about the internet, just makes you unhero. It just makes you more of a joke. So that's, that's the story. Anyway, there's stories uh, in the description about this. Again, uh, I'm not happy that he died, but it's hard to, it's hard to pity someone that, that kills himself for such a, a silly reason. Um, if you're out there and you're interested in this topic or you're actually depressed or something, um, please reach out to somebody. That's all I'm going to say about that. Reach out to somebody and don't kill yourself over something as stupid as whatever is happening in life. Because, see, the thing with me is I think life is too comical and ridiculous and light 
to find anything worth killing yourself over. Anything that you think is so tragic, oh my God, so dramatic, my life is so miserable. You know what? A lot of other people have gone through that and a lot of people have gone over, through a lot worse. So whatever you think is so bad is really probably not that bad at all. And if you just get past it, you're gonna look back on it someday and laugh at yourself and how ridiculous you were. So yeah, for those of you, anyone watching this video who's really depressed or if you know anybody like that, you know, come on, what's wrong with you? It's just life and life, you know, like they say, life, it's, it's a stage and we're just the actors here. And a lot of us are gestures. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name is Victor, King of the Morons. Give me a flick, man. J for Moron, J for Japanese, uh, what is it called? J News. Yes, that's what it's been so long, I forgot what it's called. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.